Well, a second annual volleyball tournament in Bloomington is happening soon. You can play on sand volleyball courts and raise money for different charities. And here to tell us more about it, we have Steph Mazanowski. Thanks so much for being here. Well, thanks for having me. You're welcome. So tell us a little bit about how this all got started and First and foremost, why volleyball? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, there are actually four sand volleyball venues in Bloomington Normal. Um, Crafted, Windjammer, Gill Street Sports Bar and Grill, and Kegler's at Pheasant Lanes. And one of the owners from Crafted had uh, reached out to me um, because he knew that I was well-connected in the community and thought, hey, I would love to do this multi-venue volleyball tournament. Um, and who, who do I know that can pull this all together and introduce me to the appropriate parties? So... Um, Joey reached out and he said, hey, can you can you pull the troops together? So I created um, kind of a meeting for all of us to get together. And my intent was to introduce them all and then bow out. And he's like, oh, no, you're staying. <laughs> <laughs> so um, ended up being part of the planning committee for this event last year. Um, and I actually play sand volleyball at one of the venues. So it from a player's perspective, I had a lot of input. And um, it's been really great just kind of getting them all together and and truly seeing them all play nice in the same sandbox, if you will, um, <laughs> for competing venues, getting together for the sake of charity. Yeah, because that's the thing. I mean, it's all for charity. So how much money did you guys end up raising last year? Um, last year, we raised over $10,000. Wow. Um, and this year, we've already surpassed that. And we haven't even had the, the event yet. So through sponsorships and the registration and stuff like that, we're raising quite a bit of money. So. That's awesome. Now, do you need past volleyball experience? Or if you're a beginner, can you come out and play too? You can be a beginner and come <laughs> out and play. We, um, we start the day with pool play and it kind of organically splits the, um, the day into two pools. So there's a competitive pool and a not so competitive pool, more of the rec league sort of stuff. So, and that'll organically happen just through the quick pool play that we do in the mornings. Um, and then we do have two winners. So there's a winner of the gold bracket and a winner of the silver bracket. So if you're not great at volleyball, it'll still be a fun day. <laughs> nice. You mentioned there's several courts in Bloomington. Now, do you guys go from court to court or kind of stay at one place the entire day? Yeah, we do um, try and rotate venues. So after pool play, you would go to a second venue. If you continue to win, you might play at three or four venues. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, registration is still open for people. So yes. tell us a little bit about what they need to take part in this. Yeah, so um, at least six players, six to, to 11 players. If you've got 12 that you want to play with, we ask that you get two teams. But um, you can register through Friday. And it's $250 uh, per team. So um, the registration is actually housed on my website. Um, I don't know if you guys put that out there, but it's mastermindsmedia.com slash volleypalooza. Um, and that's with Z's instead of S's. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they can hop on there and register. Um, we also have a Facebook page event that they can find us on. Awesome. Now, uh, of course, with registration ending this week, is there, is there a cap or is it just kind of, you know, the more the merrier for this? Yeah, we're capping it at 48 teams um, and shutting it off after Friday so that we can actually put the schedule together. Um, so we're at 35, I believe, as of this morning. So That's we do awesome. have a little bit of capacity, but the next 13 teams in is, is all, we, all we're letting in. So That's so cool. And what types of charities um, are you guys raising money for? Yeah, so we have Boys and Girls Club of Bloomington Normal, um, Bright Point, which is formerly um, Children's Home and Aid, and then we have Child Protection Network and Habitat for Humanity of McLean County. That is awesome. Well, Steph, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. This event coming up next Saturday, the 23rd. Registration closes this Friday. So get in and get ready to play some volleyball and hit the sand. Yeah, thank <laughs> Thanks you. so much. Thanks. We'll be right back with more news and weather. Time now is 921.